there any chance for Doctor seeing Mr. Little? What he's been waiting ages. Ah, uh, grab a when he gets back. Okay. It's one out of ten. Don't be tacky. What? Ah, uh, the hunk over there. Not that you'd be interested. Oh, come on, tell me you wouldn't keep him for a pet. Out of ten. Okay, okay. Can I give him an eight? Maybe nine? <laughs> You're way more tolerant than me. I would have given that guy with the bad back the boot by now. He's in pain. I'd be grumpy too. I reckon he's throwing it on. Well, I've done my chronic pain stuff. He deserves to be taken seriously. You think I'm being insensitive? I bet. But let's not have this conversation. It's me and Tony and the guy with the packs, right? I was a little uncomfortable with it, yeah. I didn't say that I wanted to jump him or anything. Look, I wasn't jealous or anything. That'd be really sad. But if you'd gone out with a guy last night, would you have rated someone else in front of him today? Probably. It was just for a laugh. Okay. Maybe I felt a little bit weird about it. But Tony has no reason not to joke about guys with me. I mean, what was I supposed to say? I kissed a girl for the first time last night, so can you please shut up about hunky blokes? Absolutely. You're not serious. <laughs> Look, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. And I'm really sorry if I did. I'm not into guys. I'm into you. I can't believe that man. Apparently he's been trying this on in hospitals all over the North Island. I knew there was something sus about that guy. <sighs> yeah, you told me. I'm just saying, you can't be too trusting. People will take advantage of you because they think that you're a soft touch. What, so you think I should interrogate all the patients when they come in? Find out whether their symptoms are genuine or just part of a money-making scam before I offer them treatment? No, I'm just saying maybe you could try and be a little less naive. Yeah, well, I'll be that in mind. Don't listen to me. I worked in New York for way too long. It's made you hard. Hiya. Hi. Hi. What's happening? Not a lot. Better get back. Was it something I said? No. She's probably just trying to keep Judy off her back. Yeah, it was. Eyes. Sam's eyes were too close together. That's how you can tell. Not your eyes, however. She's pretty near perfect. Don't. It's not like you to be coy. It's not that. You're not still beating yourself up over Sam, are you? It's not that either. Okay. I don't think this is going to work. What? This. Us. I don't think it's working. Why not? Look, Warren, I really like you, but... <laughs> You're giving me that I really like you speech. How do I explain this? I've been where you are, and not so long ago either. You should have met me when I first moved to Sydney. I was so confused about everything. And then I met Jay, and I was even more confused. I don't know how she put up with me. She must have really liked you. Don't be like that. She was so strong, you know. And I was a scared little thing. So you know what I'm going through? Yeah, I do. And I know how difficult it was for Jay. I don't think I'm ready to put myself through something like that. Like what? All I need is a little bit of time to get used to the idea. Look, Lauren, I'm really sorry, but I need to look after myself, and that's difficult enough. I can't be your mentor or whatever it is you need. I just can't. Right. Got it. Hey, wasn't it you who told me I needed to toughen up? Yeah. Way to go, Maya. You're real staunch. The spot? Not even close. Fill her up. Well, how dare the office, eh? Maya dumped me. Well, that's got to hurt. She didn't even give us a chance. She says I'm flaky. Am I flaky? Nah, you're beautiful, you're intelligent. You look like you got your head screwed on to me. 
Ma doesn't know what she's missing. Yeah, hey, women, eh? Beautiful. Oh, go look in the mirror, babe. To be honest, I think... Go on. Oh, I think you wasted on this dyke thing. It's a real shame speaking on behalf of men in general. Really? Yeah. Oh. Have a drink with me. Oh, I'm not due for a break yet, but hang in half an hour. I will. If you promise to help me. To do what? Remember how green the grass is on the other side of the fence? Sorry. Oh, bad fence. I think I've just lost my way. Yeah. Yeah, same as Myra. I keep telling you all she needs is. Maya. I have. We can make our own fun. Hey, babe. Oh, hey, Lord. Sorry, I'm late. Put some bath oils today, and I took a long soak. Feel my skin. Oh, like a baby's butt. Did I owe you a drink for last night? Oh, no, 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 it's all right, sure. Hey, my, um, drinks are on me, my shirt, anything you want. No, thank you. No, that cute guy in the dogs. Nothing. You and him? Oh, yeah. He's not just cute, she's also very talented. Really? <laughs> can take the boy off the stud farm. Can't take the stud out of the boy. Mum! and I'm worried about. Sorry, can I just speak first? Oh, it's okay, I'm a nurse. It's okay, I'm a doctor. Not so fast, you. Lauren, I can't stop. Just wanted to thank you for the class. Oh, they're from everyone, didn't you the card? Yeah, but no one else would have bothered to organise them. <laughs> That's not true. Yeah. I nearly messed up with you tonight. For what it's worth. There in the end. Yeah. Maybe things could have been different. Can I get a goodbye kiss? Sorry for making such a nuisance of myself. <laughs> Mates. <laughs> 